week and John Castle Media from the Las Vegas Review Journal is here to talk more about them. Two big names, right? Barry oh, yeah. Manilow. You've been calling Barry Manilow coming back to the Westgate <laughs> for I don't know how long. Finally, I'm so happy Since for you that left. it happened. <laughs> <laughs> this has been going on at least, well, it's been going on for a long time, several yeah. months and, and at least since the winter. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they finally got the deal together. It was a, it was a lesson in contract editing, mm -hmm. this one. Uh, but Barry is back. He's going to be opening on uh, May 24th for previews and his birthday weekend in, uh, in June, 14th through 16th, will be his gala opening. And this will happen last night. Yeah. They were telling me this was an impromptu welcome, and I see a lot of planning here. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably knew he was, you know, coming back. He did uh, tweet that he had landed at the airport. I yeah, saw that. Yeah, he was tweeting that he was around, and he tweeted, he likes to tweet, like, random shots of the hotel. But, uh, yeah, he showed up. The employees are really thrilled to have him there. What He's do they call that? They're, they're fanalos, right? Fanalos. So, okay, fanalos are fans. Fans fans of Manilow. Fans of Manilow. Got it. Fanilow. They're they're fervent, DR. <laughs> they're fervent. They'll follow him to the ends of the earth or to the Westgate, whatever comes first. I'm gonna see Barry today. I'm gonna yeah. go and see uh, meet up with him after this. Okay. So good. We're, gonna, we're gonna catch up. But he's he's happy, they're happy. It's a big relief to have that show in in uh, in on stage, mm -hmm. and uh, they're going to, uh, you know, make it a, a hit factory. It's yeah. going to be a big hit, uh, sh loaded show, and a lot of uh, production in it. Four big production numbers, including Copacabana. Sure, but, yeah. he's he's loved. Got to have Copa in there, right? Yes, that's and he's, for sure. He's ageless too, man. That guy has a lot of energy. It really does. You know, this one caught me off guard. Mariah coming back to the Coliseum. I really didn't expect this to happen. I hadn't but anticipated this either. Yeah. Only because I th I thought that everybody was kind of over it when she left before for a number <laughs> of reasons. But there she is. She's coming back uh, July fifth for twelve shows running through. Um, September mm -hmm. and uh, again another hit maker 18 number ones and um, when she's right she's right you know she's got a great voice uh, she looks beautiful and uh, you know restricted choreography in the Mariah show you mm -hmm. can count on that you know she's she does, she's very static right but um, the, her fans another gr uh, group of people who just uh, are very loyal to her and um, they're confident for a dozen shows she can she can sell well and perform well mm -hmm. and fill some dates at the Coliseum yeah the butterfly is back or something the like that. the butterfly returns. is back mm -hmm. she's entertaining that's she for is. sure and mm -hmm. she does have in like a lot you of said, ways a lot mm -hmm. of hits yeah <laughs> all right let's talk about absinthe the big anniversary uh, coming up for them the actual date kind of passed but they're doing yes. a big anniversary celebration but I like this it's something special and it involves three square yeah they're gonna do a uh, so, uh, donate some of their proceeds to three square uh, food bank in Las Vegas the show that they're marking this the event is going to be um, Monday night and it's gonna be a big gala event that's gonna bring in a lot every act that they've ha they have currently in the show is gonna be uh, performed mm -hmm. you know because they rotate a lot of acts and that's gonna be Monday night at the uh, at the Coliseum and also on that day they're gonna rename Las Vegas Boulevard Boulevard Gazillionaire oh. Boulevard Gazillionaire Boulevard. Have you ever tweeted yeah. with the Gazillionaire? He's very yes. interesting. He, he kind of chimes back at a lot of my <laughs> tweets sometimes. And What's interesting <laughs> about tweeting with the Gazillionaire is who responds and how they respond. Right. We've <laughs> had to actually mellow it out a little bit because <laughs> the people who follow Gazillionaire is great, but the people who are, who are his fans get a little nutty. Right. But, you know, the guy's loaded. He can, he can afford to, you know, to buy his friends. He's a Gazillionaire. Point. Yeah. Right. Um, well, it's interesting. Uh, anyway, about Absinthe and the event Monday, uh, wonderful that they're putting all the acts in there because they've got the show going, what, seven days a week? What do we say? Two nights? Two? shows a yeah, night this, seven days a week this is a first this begins this month i think it's on the 14th where they do two shows a night uh 14 shows a week wow. and that is a, a super aggressive throwback schedule i mean the, the production shows used to do that commonly very very few have done it since uh, you know the heyday of las vegas back mm -hmm. in, in the uh, you know say the mid late 80s right. and, and early 90s and uh, they sell about six thousand tickets a week and it remains the uh, the gold standard for box office success and artistic success on the strip right yeah. now as far as production shows. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about the iHeart Music Festival. They always do a portion of it outdoors, mm -hmm. and this year they've announced the lineup, and we were saying it's going to be the first uh, outdoor music festival on the strip since the Route 91 exactly, festival. Exactly, yeah. This is the first announced uh, fest music festival on, on the strip mm -hmm. since 1 October, and it's not going to be on the village site where, where Route 91 was, but this is going to be on the, uh, we've talked about the uh, parcel it was home to Rock and Rio on right. the corner of Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard. And uh, it's about a 50 acre plot, and they're going to bring the, uh, the daytime stage, which is going to be a complement to iHeartRadio Music Festival September 21st and 22nd. Mm -hmm. the, in, the festival is going to be held at T Mobile Arena, right. but the daytime show is going to be held throughout the day on, the, uh, on the, the parcel where Rock and Rio used to be. And, that is, and they're going to honor the, the 1 October victims, first responders, and families and survivors in some kind of tasteful mm -hmm. and important way. And that's the first uh, festival that we know of for sure on the yeah. strip since 1 October. All right, and the video we were watching was the inside. Where they mm -hmm. could the obviously setup. do a major uh, setup for the indoors. Cats, thank you. You can read more about all these stories uh, in Cats' column in the Review Journal. It is called Cats. Cats. <laughs> Stay with us. Hey,
Before we go, here's a look 